All right, we're gonna try something different tonight because both me and Brandon were at the game. Um, I said that uh, uh, with the A and C team, he's the A team, I'm the C team, because Olivia is not here. All night. Um, why didn't you tell me? I thought it looked great. I oh, thought it was fantastic. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Yeah, well. Um, oh, thank you, Dad. The Thunder uh, wrapped up a pretty big win against the two seed in the West, the Nuggets. Chris Paul was fantastic down the stretch, closing out the Nuggets. So, uh, what were your takeaways from the game, Brandon? Yeah, I mean, to me, this was one of the best wins of the year, honestly. Number two seed, it weakens the Nuggets draft pick, which is big for the Thunder. They have the first round draft pick. Uh, and they've proven that they can beat good teams. They've done it time and time again, but. You know, they kind of had a rough stretch before the All-Star break. They they lost the Spurs and the Celtics, and then they had a rough time against the Cavs and Pistons, which, which weren't good teams. They beat the Pelicans. That was nice. So they they entered the All-Star break on a high note, and they come out of the All-Star break on an even higher note. So it would be nice to keep that momentum going forward. Yeah, I and mean, then the game was really sloppy earlier, uh, early in the game. It looked like teams were having trouble scoring. Um, a lot of turnovers, but the Thunder really cleans it up, and they forced a ton of turn turnovers for the Nuggets. I think they had um, 17 turnovers on the night. Um, so the defense was there. Dort was really good, I thought, defensively. Um, and, you know, of course, Chris Paul was fantastic. Who is your player of the game? Uh, it's got to be Chris Paul, right? 29 points. But I will say Stephen Adams had 19 and 17, and that's going to up against Jokic. Uh, Jokic, obviously, I think he had 32 points. So, I mean, he, he scores on everybody. What are you going to do? Uh, uh, Shea almost had a triple-double. He had 11, 9, and 9. He didn't have the best shooting night, but he played well, I thought. And, uh, yeah, shout-out to Dort, though. He had 11 points and uh, had, had a, a few steals. He was just kind of everywhere. His, his effort and energy are just kind of infectious. Yeah, in post-game, uh, Chris Paul was talking about Dort. Um, there was that play where Paul drove, kicked it to Dort in the co corner, and Paul was saying, you know, maybe typically before, Dort would have made a pass, he may have maybe taken the shot, but he saw the lane, made a great drive to the basket. Um, that was a huge two points for the Thunder to close him out. So, I mean, his awareness has gotten so much better, and I think he really um, proved that why he's a starter in this league right now. So we'll be watching, of course, whether he gets picked up for a full season on a contract. His 45 days are probably coming up, but um, that information is a little bit cryptic. But... Hey, great wait, great win for the Thunder. Great outcome. You know, uh, good con contributions across the board. Seven players scored in double figures, yeah. um, which is fantastic. Uh, I don't know. Any other thoughts, Brandon? You know, Schroeder and Gallinari, two of the Thunder's best players and, and best scorers, had a rough night tonight. They didn't they didn't score very efficiently. They didn't score very many points. And still the Thunder come out with, with basically a double-digit win against the number two team in the West. This is a great victory for the Thunder. It's not just a good one. I think it's a great one. For the Thunder, and it kind of shows once again they're going to be a tough out in the playoffs. I think we can say that the playoffs are a lock at this point, and I don't think any of those top teams want to play the Thunder in the playoffs, and this is why. Yep.